nice to see you again. After finishing heart, lung, spleen, and liver, we are approaching into the last zhang organ, kidney, a very, very important zhang organ in TCM. The contents include main physiological functions of kidney and its relations with meridians, tissues, orifices, emotions, and seasons. As concerning of the status of kidney in zhangfu organs, it is said that kidney is a foundation of congenital constitution and the spleen is a foundation of acquired constitution. Shen wei xian tian zhi ben, pi wei hou tian zhi ben. What is the meaning of the sentence? Combine the contents of spleen with what we are going to learn today. You are supposed to get the answer by yourselves. So, I just leave the question here and hope you can get it after the class. Okay, number one, main physiological functions of kidney. It includes three aspects. Governing the storage of essence, shen zu chang jing. Governing water, shen zu shui. And governing reception of qi, shen zu na qi. Today, we just focus on the first one, kidney governing the storage of essence. And for the second and third, we will learn in next section. First of all, we needed to figure out what is essence. In broad sense, it refers to the basic substance to compose the human body and maintain all life activities. When talking about the basic substance, it is very easy to get lost in concepts of essence and qi. In section of qi theory, we have learned that human beings are produced by qi, and qi maintains the whole process of life activities. But now, it is said the essence is the basic substance to compose the human body and maintain its own life activities. To be honest, I have been teaching basic theory of TCM for more than 15 years. Well, the similarities and the differences between essence and qi have always been the confusing part for students. When I'm facing something is very difficult to explain, tracing back to the characters usually is a very effective way. Look at this, jing qi. These two are simplified characters that we use now for essence and qi. Well, these two, jing qi, are the traditional characters. Could you find anything special in the traditional ones? The character of jing consists of mi and qing, while the character of qi consists of mi and qi. So, it is obvious that jing and qi share the same part, which is mi, right in English. It indicates that they come from the same source, rice, grain, food. Then, the other part of jing is qing, which is originally means green and refers to green and fresh crops with good and high quality. Well, the other part of qi, that is qi. As we have explained before, the character itself indicates something is moving and floating. So, essence and qi share the same source, and they both are the foundation for human body and life activities. Essence is the substantial basis, while qi is the functional performance. Essence is yin, which is quiet and formed, while qi is yang, which is active and formless. So, we say in broad sense, essence refers to the basic substance to compose the human body, and is a substantial basis for all life activities. Well, in narrow sense, essence particularly refers to kidney essence. Those part of essence being stored in kidney includes congenital essence, xian tian zhi jing, and acquired essence, hou tian zhi jing. Congenital essence is from parents and is regarded as the original substance to constitute feeders. 
while acquired essence is made from food and water and fresh air. They are integrated with each other and supporting each other to perform specific functions of kidney essence. We may draw an analogy between the essence and the basketball. The congenital essence can be compared to the laser of a basketball, while the acquired essence just like the ear inflated in it. They work together to maintain the function of our basketball. For us, we hope that every time when we play in basketball, only the inflated air is consumed. But no matter how hard we try to use it in a careful and cautious way, the basketball will finally turn out to be something like this. That is the situation when congenital essence is exhausted and acquired essence could find nothing to rely on. That is a time for life ending. So after clearing about the concept of essence, let's turn back to the first physiological function of kidney, governing the storage of essence. As we learned in the overview of this chapter, the general function of five zhang organs is to store essence while the general function of six fu organs is to transport and break down things. So, technically, all five zhang organs are capable of storing essence. But, kidney is specially pointed out for its governing on storage of essence. Why? It is because of kidney's nature, which makes it very powerful and strong in storing essence. Just as yellow emperors in the classic set, the kidney governs dormancy. It is the root of sealing up and storing as well as the location of essence. Shen zhe, zhu zhe, feng chang zhi ben, jing zhi chu ye. Dormancy, zhe, here refers to the function of kidney in storing essence is just like a hybrided animal who is quiet and moveless, but there is full of life vigor and vitality behind it. Okay, kidneys governing on essence storage mainly manifests in two specific aspects, governing growth development and reproduction, and motivating qi transformation of zhang fu organs. The evolutionary presence of kidney essence is from little to more, from sufficient to decline, and finally to exhaustion. When one is born, his kidney essence is mainly from his parents, which is the congenital essence. And then, during his growing, he is nourished by both congenital essence and acquired essence. While when he moves into the stage of aging, both congenital and acquired essence declines to exhaustion when he dies. So the birth, growth, repining, aging, and the death are the natural rules of human life, all of which are closely related to the condition of essence inside the kidney. Then, as for the reproduction, a term, Tian Gui, shall be mentioned. Tian Gui refers to the refined substances produced by kidney essence when it develops to a certain stage. Tian Gui has a function for promoting and maintaining the maturity of the reproductive organs. While, along with aging, Tian Gui declines. And when it exhausts, people lost their reproductive ability. Number two, the other aspect contains in kidney governing storage of essence is for its motivation on qi transformation of zhang fu organs. Qi transformation refers to various change caused by the movements of qi. Metabolism of essence, qi, blood, and body fluids, 
and intertransformations among them are all the result of T transformation. Kidney essence is a substantial basis, while kidney qi is its functional manifestation. When kidney qi performs its function, it could be summarized by kidney yin, which is also named as the genuine yin, and kidney yang, which is also named as genuine yang. Genuine yin and yang is the power and the root to promote and maintain OT transformation taking place in zhangfu organs. That's why we say that kidney motivates T transformation of zhangfu organs. As a fact of truth, T transformation is the most fundamental characteristic of life and is originally motivated by kidney essence. Okay, I have to say today's contents are not easy to understand. I hope you can take some time to make further review on them. We have learned one of the physiological functions of kidney, that is kidney governing storage of essence, which is specially demonstrated by kidney's function in governing growth, development, and reproduction and motivating qi transformation of zhangfu organs. And don't forget the question I just left to you in the beginning of the class. How to understand the sentence? That's all for today. Thank you and I'll see you next time.